Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. This is a video lesson about something called factorials. So, so what we're going to do on the first page, you're going to take notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try a couple problems on your own, and then at the end you can see uh, how you did. All right, so what exactly is a factorial? Well, a factorial function says to multiply a series of descending natural numbers. So let me show you what that means. So anytime you see this little exclamation point, right, that's a factorial function. And what that means is basically you start with the number four and you multiply it by every integer all the way down to one. So four times three times two times one, and then you get the answer. So four times three is, is 12, times two is 24, and 24 times one is, is 24. So four factorial equals 24. Now let's say it was 10 factorial, right? Well, if it was 10 factorial, it would be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. If it was 100 factorial, it would be 100 times 99 times 98, which would be a really big number. So let's say, for example, we have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and I want to write it in factorial form. Well, all it is is just 5 and then the exclamation point. All right? So now that you understand a little more about factorials, let's do some problems involving factorials. So here we have six factorial divided by three factorial. Well, to do this, what you do is you expand it out. So it's gonna be six times five, times four, times three, times two, times one. And then three factorial is three times two times one. And because we have a fraction, all right, these are actually common factors. So what you're allowed to do is you're allowed to actually cross off the three, the two, and the one. And what's left over is the six times five times four. So six times five is 30. 30 times four is 120. So the answer would be 120. All right, finally, here we have three factorial plus four factorial. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand both of these. So three factorial is three times two times one and then plus four factorial, which is four times three times two times one. All right, now key thing about this is you still have to follow order of operations. So I'm gonna multiply first and then add. So three times two is six. Six times one is six, so this part is six. And then plus four times three is 12, times two is 24, times one is 24. And then finally, six plus 24 equals 30. All right, so the key thing about this is anytime you see that exclamation point, that means factorial. So when you pause the video and try the your turn now problems, and when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's how you do with these practice problems. So the first two, it says, write the following in factorial form. So six times five times four times three times two times one really equals this six factorial. And here we have nine times eight times seven all the way down to one, right? So we can just write this just as nine factorial. And then finally, we want to simplify this expression, 10 factorial over eight factorial. So it's gonna be 10 times nine times eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one, that's gonna be on the top. And then eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one's on the bottom. And if you remember, right, all of these are common factors, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cross these off. And what's left over is 10 times nine, which equals 90. And there's your answer. All right, how'd you do?